Right folks, here we are on another composite door. Let's see how this one goes then. So that's what we're looking at around the back. This one's going to have enclosed blinds in the, in the glass. Oh, she goes. Out there. Need to get our Ridge 8 saw set up. And get some slots cutted out here. And get that out. Next. Cookies and cream. Just need our blade changing. So you flick that lever down. Away with that. Do one in. Simple as that. And somehow that is what they deserve. Trouble is with these longer blades like this, really you only use the tip of it. So when that gets blunt, that's it really you're done. And it's a shame because you've got all these here, which are untouched, but you can still use them for chopping your wood up for your log burner, or that part of the blade. Hello to my little friend. Here's our new door going in. And there's our enclosed blinds, I'll show you how they work in a minute. Cool them, actually, inside the glass. So they never get dusty or dirty. But if you're willing to roll up your sleeves, there's no end to what you can achieve. Okay, so it's in and wedged up now. We've just put this piece of wood here because Casey's folded it up and it's not fixed in yet. Now, I know a lot of you have said that you fix it up first and then you form after, but in, see, in cases like this, it's impossible to fix this door. You need to wedge it first and get some kind of fixing on it so it stays in place so you can fix it in the right place. Because if we tried to fix this at this moment in time opening the door, it would just move all over the place, you know, with the vibrations on the wedges and stuff like that. So. I think that's why we do it like that, so that it's, it's fixed in place. So you, not, not completely, because if the foam goes off, then you're snookered. But yeah, it's some kind of fixing, so it's steady when you're drilling. And it, and it reduces the dust as well, because when you're drilling, it goes everywhere. So if it's foamed up a little bit, the dust will go in all the foam and stuff. So anyway, each to their own. I'm not saying there's a right way, not saying there's a wrong way, but this is the way we do it. As long as you don't let the foam go completely off, you're absolutely fine. Shuts like a dream as well. Just pull it to lift the handle, engage all the locking system in. It's a five point locking system with hook bolts. You got to pay all 